My remarks are going to be very brief, I assure you. What would a king or a monarch have to say about the democratic process? Your, Your Excellency, Governor Obaseki, you know very much about Okiso and how they came from heaven. Well, I did not fall from heaven. But there was something divine about the process that brought me here, and which is the same for all our monarchs in Africa. And so I walk a very fine line as I am walking between crocodiles in the water and tigers on the land as I make my comments here, so God will help me. <laughs> but seriously, no matter the symbol of authority on a leader, be it a crown, be it a constitutional sash, or whatever the mantle is, it's very important that the people and the interests of the people to be governed are carried along. The executive director of this foundation, she spoke about the big man syndrome. She mentioned it briefly. Ego, special interests, and any other consideration that would want to elevate or glorify the self or the individual over the interest of the collective that he is called to govern, it will get you in trouble. It's a matter of time. And then His Excellency, our host governor, he spoke about foundations and I have found Nigerians, whether we are Christian, Muslim, traditional belief, we all know how to quote famous verses in the Bible. And there's the famous verse, if the foundation is faulty, what can the righteous do? And so for me, the foundation that we speak about that must be laid for there to be successful, effective governance. It starts from within. For the individual to stand firmly for what they know is right. Otherwise, when the pressures come, and as leaders, we all know the pressures will come. They will come in the people who voted you in, those who claim they worked for you and spoke for you, those pressures and they will seem genuine, they will come. How do you stand when you know that in that moment, those pressures are not necessarily for the betterment of the collective society? And so this foundation on within must be firm because if you do not stand, something will make you fall. Dr. Martin Luther King, in one of his very famous quotes said, the arc of the moral universe is long, but it leans towards justice. One thing that I have found, especially in the last two years of being on the throne, even though I knew it before, the land, this land, it is alive. And the land knows the injustices that are suffered by the people. It hears the cries and it feels their pains. And so any leader 
that wants to avail himself or herself, it is important that there is this fundamental alignment. When the leader is in alignment with God and with the righteousness and justice, to tie into the quote of Dr. Martin Luther King, no matter the numerous pressures, there will be a way for one to stand for what is right. In conclusion, Nigeria is very important for the black man, not just for Africa, for the black man, for the African American, for the black man in Britain, men of color, whether Nigeria wants to admit it or not, whether they want to admit it or not, the reason why the black man does not have respect in this world, even when he has money, is because they cannot find a black nation that is excellent. And so as there are winds and pressures blowing all around Nigeria today, yes, Nigeria has a lot of questions to ask itself as it looks at its foundations to make sure that what we have here is strong. Because if Nigeria just simply falls to trends and pressures that truly are genuine, as your excellency said, the black man will be set back. So leadership in Nigeria must be gotten right. And it starts with the individual in question being at equilibrium with himself and with God. He must be a leader in his own home and ensure that there is righteousness and justice in his own home. He must be a leader in his locality before he can be a successful leader of his nation. I do not know what this redefined hybrid effective leadership structure in Africa or Nigeria will look like. But it is something that all of us must be a part of in that finding. And so, as His Excellency said, I am just simply laying a foundation. I do not have any recommendations of my own at the moment. So thank you all very much. God bless you. Yeah.